Well, labour shortages are stretching industries around the world in the wake of the pandemic. Wage rises and other incentives are gradually bringing people back into the workforce. But businesses in Singapore are taking a different approach. Technology advances have opened the door to robots filling vacant jobs from librarians to baristas. Here's Tyson Whelan. They say many hands make light work. But who said they had to be human hands? Singapore, like many countries around the world, is experiencing widespread labour shortages as it emerges from pandemic restrictions. So it's out with the old, in with the robots. I think things have still not got back to uh, pre-COVID. I don't think they ever will. Um, so actually replacing uh, the need for manpower on site with um, autonomous solutions is grainy, uh, gaining real traction in the industry. From the construction set to change the city skyline to your daily cup of coffee, these droids are picking up the slack where workers are not. Workforce shortages are biting around the world. US labour force participation rate is still down more than 1.2% on pre-pandemic levels. There remains nearly two vacant jobs for every American classified as unemployed. A February report found 85% of Australian businesses are running low on staff. We are solving a universal problem within FMB, not just Singapore or Japan, but around the world. And um, automation will come in to assist us. This robot does the job of two people, scanning this project to capture the construction's progress. 200,000 foreign workers have left Singapore since 2019 in a country of just 5.6 million people. It means libraries have called upon the robotics industry to fulfil the scarcity. Staff need not read the core numbers one by one on the shelf. And uh, this reduces the routine and labour intensive aspects of this task. It's argued half of workers' daily tasks will be automated by 2055, with mundane and physically demanding jobs first to go. But some customers say nothing beats a friendly, human smile. We always want to have some kind of human touch for everything, and the food is a very important part. Too. So whenever we order food, we interact with the person. Tyson Whelan, ABC News.